on week two of doing my long runs and I'm training for a marathon. Um, I started last week and I told you I've been on um, keto and intermittent fasting for every year. I'm fully fat adaptive and I tried my last run doing 12 miles uh, last week without the normal carb loading that I do and without taking any energy gels. Um, I tested my numbers in the mornings. I know I had uh, plenty of ketones you know, in my blood. Uh, my glu blood glucose was fine and I was able to run. I uh, didn't do the things that I normally uh, did. Um, and like I said last week, doing marathons and doing everything like that, I um, actually started gaining weight because I was just so running in carbs. That's kind of how I, how I thought it was, but now I know it's different. Um, fat gives you much more steady energy than what uh, glucose does. It only has a you know extended uh, short time. Uh, but to know that for sure, you have to actually test you know your blood is is the most accurate way. This is the stick here. Pull it out here. You're gonna want to wash your hands. Make sure you're gonna warm up your finger. We're gonna kind of do like that. And that little dropper when it blinks that means it's ready for the blood 2.2 I know I'm good there four point five um, this is the metrics or whatever if you convert it over um, like I said I think that's uh, 72 and which would actually kind of be a little bit on the on the low side for a lot of people but when you're fat adaptive your blood sugar Mine stays high 60s, low 70s, and you know, I feel fine, and it's great. That's what it was last week. It was a little, actually a little bit lower last week. I was still able to run, had no problems. Uh, the only key thing you want to make sure is that your electrolytes are on board. And I don't mean like drinking Gatorade or one of those. Um, I, I'm, I take supplements for my um, electrolytes, you know, my potassium, my um, calcium, and my magnesium. Magnesium is a big one for the muscles, so I always make sure you know, I have at least 400 milligrams of um, magnesium on board. And um, that's the key, and plenty of water, because water is really, you know, what the body really needs. So anyways, those were my numbers today. I know I'm good, I know I have enough energy um, with the ketones to run as long as I need to run. And I will uh, let you know how I do later on. Hi, it's Patty, I just uh, got done. Fortunately, we got a, I was supposed to be out of the door and running by uh, quarter to seven. That didn't quite happen, I had a little snafu with the business, so started a little bit later and uh, Thank God today is not super hot here. So did my 14 um, mile run and felt great. Like I said, my legs are a little under trained, so that's about the only thing that's got to get up to speed. Another couple of weeks they will be. But um, energy wise felt great. I eat between two and six. So my last meal was about four to six last night uh, and fasted for you know over 13 hours. I had 30 carbs yesterday, total carbs and 18 net carbs. So with doing fasting, I won't eat till uh, two o'clock this afternoon. Last week did the same thing. Actually, it was three o'clock by the time I ate because I was busy. Um, felt fine. When you fast and when you do keto, you don't your hunger pains go down. Even if you do intense, you know, if you do a lot of cardio, it still doesn't change that. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm able to run 14 miles with no energy gels and didn't carb load the night before. So happy running. I'll keep you knowing how how it's going.